Hey friends, welcome back to another video. This video is for all of my beginners who are ready to get started selling digital products and you want a website that is free to use and has an easy, quick setup, then stay tuned because this video is for you. But first, if this is your first time here, welcome. My name is Tisha and I'm here to teach you how to create and sell digital products using online tools. Now the tool that we're gonna talk about today is Pinsight. Now, if you've never heard of Pinsight, don't even worry about it, I got you. Pinsight is a free link in bio website that you can add to your TikTok or Instagram social media bios and start monetizing your content and also get started selling your coaching services, courses, video Q and A's, and of course, digital products. Now, as I mentioned, Pinsight is free to sign up and free to use. They do charge a 3% commission anytime you make a sale. And honestly, guys, this is one of the lowest transaction fees that I've seen for my free platform, which means there's gonna be more money in your pocket. Pinsight also offers a pro plan that you can upgrade to to get access to additional features. I will point out those features later on in this tutorial. Now, if you want to test out Pinsight for yourself and get access to the pro plan, I will leave a link down below where you can get 40% off your first two months of the Pinsight Pro account. And I just want to say thank you to Pinsight for sponsoring this video. Now, let's go ahead and jump right into the tutorial. Okay, so to get started with Pinsight, you will just go to Pinsight.com. And from the home page, you want to click here and you want to add your username. And your username can be whatever you want it to be as long as the name isn't already taken you can use your business name or your social media handle what you're known by you can add this here this will become a part of your pin site link that you can share on your TikTok and Instagram bio pages so once you add your information you want to click on claim for free and then it's going to ask you for your name and email I've already signed up for a pin site account so I'm going to log in and we're going to go from there Okay, once you've signed up, it's going to bring you into your pin site dashboard. And your dashboard is just a quick snapshot of some of your stats, including your orders, profile views, and revenue. So the first step is to customize your link page. To access your link page, you wanna to go to the left menu and click on my page. And this is where you can customize your link page. Here at the top, this is your pin site link that you can share on your social media accounts. You can click on that and copy it. Here at the bottom is my check this you can use this to guide you through the different steps of setting up your link page so first I'm going to go ahead and add a photo cover so I'm going to click edit cover and you can adjust the photo if you need to reposition the photo in any way and then once you're ready you just hit confirm I'm just adding a simple cover for the sake of this tutorial next I'm going to add my profile picture by clicking on this little pencil and you can add an intro video or a picture. I'm just gonna add a picture. And again, if you need to reposition your profile picture, you can do that before you actually upload it. When you sign up for your Pinsight account, it asks for your name and your tagline. If you wanna ever change that information, you just click on edit my details. You make your changes and click save. If you want to customize your link appearance to make it uh, maybe fit your brand or your style, you can click on customize appearance. Now just keep in mind that this feature is a pro feature, so you will need to upgrade in order to save any changes that you make in the customize section. Next, you want to add your social profile links. You can click on add social profile and then simply just select the type of account that you want to add. The title will appear here and then you add your link. To add more than one link, you just simply click on add link and you do this until you add all of your links and once you're done, you hit save. Now let's add our digital product. You just click on add product and you can see all the different products that you can sell with Pinsight. Now you can see all the different products that you can sell with Pinsight. The membership and coaching program, those are pro features so you won't be able to use that with the free account, but you still have access to sell courses, one-on-one -on -one sessions, group sessions, digital products, coaching bundle, and video Q&A. And video Q&A is something that I plan to implement for myself, so you guys look out for that. So then we click on digital product, and then you're just gonna add your digital product details starting with the title. 
once you add your title, you want to give a description of the type of digital product that you're selling. So if you're selling like an ebook, uh, a template, a course, a music file, whatever that file type is, that's what you want to type into this next box. So I'm just going to type in ebook. This next section is where you would add the payment. So if this is something that you want to give away free as a leak magnet, you want to check free. But if this want to be a paid, you want to click on single payment and then you want to add your price. So let me add my price. Once you add your price, you can also change the currency depending on your country location. Here are some additional payment features that are only available with a pro account. There is the multiple installment payments. This is similar to something like an afterpay. So if you've ever bought something online and you can break your payments into installment payments, this is great for if your digital product is a high ticket product, this will allow your customers to afford your digital product. There's also subscription based payment features and also name a fair price. So if you have a digital product and you can let your customers decide how much they want to pay for your digital product. So the next step is adding the actual digital product file. So you want to click on click and drag, add your file. And this is the product that the customer will see after they check out. And next is to edit your landing page. So this is what the customer will see before they check out. So you can add a cover image and a description of your digital product. So first let's add a cover image and it does suggest the cover image to be 1280 by 720 pixels. I created my image in Canva so you can do the same and then you just add your photo by hitting confirm. So next I'm just going to add some text to give a description but you can also add audio file, a video file image, and a file upload. So this is again on the landing page. So make sure that you're not adding the digital product that you want to sell here. You want to make sure that you're adding it up here where it says visible after checkout. So I'm going to click on text and just add a short description on my digital product. Hit save. And once you've added all of your digital product details, you want to just hit continue. Next is to add extra details. This is optional. So if you want to add a checkout form when your customer checks out and requests additional information, you will need an upgrade to the pro account for that. If you are hosting your product on a separate website and you only want to use pin site as your checkout method, then you will add the link here. And once the customer checks out, it will redirect them to that link and again these are optional so just hit continue and then the last step is to publish your digital product so once you're ready you select your visibility you can make it public or you can make it private and only people who have access to the link will have access to the digital product I'm gonna leave it as public and hit publish and now a digital product has been published and that was really super easy to do. If you want, this is the link that will link directly to your digital product. You can copy this link and share that anywhere that you want to share it. If you want to preview your page, you want to click on preview as page. And this is your landing page for your digital product. So I'm going to copy this link into an incognito window just so you can kind of see the customer experience. So this is what your customer will see when they click on your digital product. They see your cover image. They see the title, the price, and a small description. They will hit continue. They will need to enter in an email address prior to checking out. This will allow the customer to have access to the digital product on their own pen site account. Now, if you want to view your profile, you want to click on view my profile. So this is what your pen site link in bio page could look like. And it actually shows you your profile as a visitor. If you want to edit your profile page and add additional digital products, you want to just go to the top and click edit profile and it takes you back to your page and simply just click on add digital product to add additional products. If you you want to rearrange your links you want to click rearrange blocks you can just click and drag them into any order that you want your links to appear and then you click on save changes and if there's any link block that you want to delete you simply click on edit then click the three dots in the top right and click delete confirm by hitting delete and that link block will no longer appear on your profile page now that i've shown you how to set up your pin site link and bio page let's go over to the left panel and go over some of the menu options so if you click on products, this is where you can manage all of your products that you add to your pin site, link and bio page. You're able to view your public 
products, your private products, anything that you've unpublished and archived. If you wanted to edit from here, you can do that as well. And also if you wanted to add new products, you can do that by clicking on the add new button here at the top. Under the next menu option is forms. Again, this option is for the pro account. When you add the checkout forms, that information that you add, you will see that under this option. Next is your clients. So anytime that anyone makes a purchase from your pen site, you will see their name and email in this panel. And if you want, you can export it as a CSV file and you can upload that CSV file to your email autoresponder and add these people to your email list. This next section is the chat option. So anytime someone purchases or connects with you through Pinsight, it opens up a private chat channel for you to speak and communicate directly to that customer. This next section is the calendar section. So for anyone that is looking to possibly add coaching services on top of selling their digital products, this is where you have your calendar and you can book your notices and you can view what you may have booked. You can also link external calendars. Next is the wallet section, which I think is the most important section because this is where you can see all of your earnings. You can see your lifetime earnings, any pending amounts. You can filter this out by clicking on the down arrow here and you can see, you can see your earnings all the way up until last year and it will be broken down by each product that you add to your pen site. Now, in order to receive your payouts from pen site, you will need to connect your Stripe account to your pen site account. This next section is for coupon so if you wanted to add any type of discount coupon codes you can do that under this section okay so this next section is your order section so if you have any orders you will be able to view all of the information for your orders under this panel under the refer and earn menu option you have the opportunity to earn uh, affiliate income from pen site by sharing your pen site link and when others sign up for a pen site pro account you can get paid a commission from that so if you're interested in that you can take a look at that and then this last link here is for to copy your pen site url link and you can share it anywhere that you want to share it the last menu option is the support and setting option so that's where you will be able to change your password and update any information and in in regards to your pen site account okay friends so that is how you can get started selling your digital products with pen site as you can see it was super fast and super easy to get set up so let me know that in the comments if you plan to use pen site to start selling your digital products and of course if you have any questions leave your questions down below as well if you need some digital product inspiration be sure to check out the video that is on your screen and until next time guys thanks so much for watching and i will see you in the next video bye